friend amekusalimia good easter kweli basi mwambie good easter he is alive give him a high five as you mean it he is alive jesus is alive he is alive jesus is alive i don't know whether up there we have this wonderful easter song that says i serve a risen savior and he is in the world today do we have it can we get it if we don't i'll ask the choir to come close and we sing mine because i have it oh i have oh they have it okay um I, I, my prayer is that we sing this song with some meaning amen do you serve a risen savior do you have a reason to rejoice in the lord you know people that Anyway, let me save you for that. But let's all stand up and sing like we mean it that we are serving a risen savior and he is in the world today. And what I would ask you to do is open your mouth and fill your lungs and sing it and don't you worry about your melody. Kiji ki siki whatever. Don't listen to your neighbor. Serve him. Amen. Serve a risen savior. He's in the world today. I know that he is living, whatever men may say. I see his hand of mercy, I hear his voice of cheer. And just the time I need him is always near. Goja kidogo, goja kidogo. Inaonekana, waagirikani yapa ni washasa sana. Nilifikiria nyote mulitoka kwa agrikani. Hapana. Hii wimbo ukitaka imbike vizuri inaendaga mahali unafika ni kama unaweka ginezi ya kidogo. Yaani unaweka kama ringo kidogo ili itoke kwa e, Hebu weka pati tu kidogo hiyo pati ginezi. Sasa hapa ndio mambo iko. I see his hand of mercy. I hear his voice of cheer. And just the time I need him. He is always wa anglikani wale wanajua hiyo kuja hapa ili tuwaonyeshe wengine kuja upatiwe microphone kama unajua inaishika hapo vizuri kama hakuna utajifunza na tuimbe okay i serve what oh kuna mmoja ameonekana haya sawa sawa because when you when you pull it a little bit then you sing with a lot of joy inatokea vizuri sana amen I serve a risen savior He's in the world today I know that he is living Whatever men may say I see his light of mercy I hear his voice of cheer And just the time I need him is always near He lives, he lives Christ Jesus lives today He walks with me back and start the first stanza. Now you have understood. Yani una, una vruta kidogo alafu within my heart. Amen. Ah, nyinyi ni wanafunzi wazuri sana. Okay, let's do it again. I serve a risen Savior He's in the world today I know that He is living whatever men may say I see His heart of mercy I hear His voice of cheer and just the time Joy, joy, so crazy. 
There is another, another, another distance. But it is okay, I will save you. Mine had it. In all the world around me, I see his loving care. And though my heart grows weary, I never will despair. I know that he is leading to all the stormy clouds. That day of his appearing will come at last. He lives, he lives. Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along the narrow way. He lives, he lives, such a to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. Let's give it a praise in the the Lord is alive. He lives. Hallelujah. Give high five to five people. Tell them he lives. Christ Jesus lives today. He walks and talks with me along life narrow way. He is alive. Christ Jesus is alive. Wonderful Savior. Hallelujah. The Gospel of John chapter number 20 verse 10 to 18 a passage that is long enough, but I would like all of us to read together. Gospel of John, chapter number 20, verse 10 to 18. Hallelujah. Gospel, John, chapter 20, verse 10 to 18. Let's read all of us together. Then the disciples went away again to their own homes. But Mary stood outside by the tomb weeping, and as she wept, she stooped down and looked into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white sitting, one at the head and the other at the feet where the body of Jesus had lain. Then they said to her, woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, because they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Now when she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there and did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? She supposing him to be the gardener said to him, sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned and said to him, Rabboni, which is to say, teacher. Jesus said to her, do not cling to me, for I have not ascended to my father. But go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my father and to your father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and that he had spoken these things to her. Then the same day at evening being the first day of the week when the doors were shut where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in the midst and said to them, peace be with you. You can read the whole passage and it, it is a wonderful passage about the resurrection of our Savior. I'm not a very good person in terms of poem, Mashairi, if I were, I would read a shairi here with all the, the, 
yeah, you understand ile misemo ya whatever. But let me read, let me read it. That's the way I picked it. Haya. Haya. Unajua kuna mtu anasema kemani dia anahubiri sasa. Uh, we hope it will not disturb everybody. Put the volume low. Come. See the hillside in the dawn. The cross the left of him who died. See the open cleft that greets the day. The empty where he lay. Go quickly. Leave the place of death and swiftly run to those who have not had the victories won. Who watch and wait. Make haste to teeming throngs who need to know for whom the news unless you quickly go will go too late. And tell Oh, spread the news as long as you have breath that Jesus holds the keys of hell and of death. His name be praised for his reason as he said. And in that glorious rising from the dead, we too are raised. I've tried my best. I'm telling myself that. Unajua kama uambiwi we mwenye unajiambia. He, ni mesoma. Bas, hallelujah. If you are visiting us for the very first time, don't you worry where I'm welcoming you at because I still want to welcome you. Amen? Yesterday I went to a wedding and I thought, you know, me, me, wherever I go, I go learning. I go learning. It was in, not in the church, it was a garden wedding and we were with, with the Francis. But they, they said something that I felt maybe if we land it, we'll make our visitors feel welcome. I, they, they, it's like, I don't know, because they, this was somebody who was saying that how they do it in their church, they, you know, they rejoice and they say, make this your church and they celebrate. We're not going to do today. Because I have to get all the, the order so that we can do it well. But if you are visiting us for the very first time, just lift up your hand. We'll see you. We'll spot you. We'll welcome you. Normally, we don't do this when I've started preaching. But I looked at some, some of you and I thought, maybe you needed some little welcome so that you can sit properly in the house of the Lord. Yani, usikai kama wewe ni wetu, and we are appreciative of you. If you lift up your hand, we welcome you in the name of the Lord. You are visiting us for the very first time. Just put it up. We want to welcome you in the name of the Lord. We have a few there. Oh, yes. Just stand up. Oh, please. Just keep. Oh, please. Let's stand, our visitors. Let's let them all stand. Hallelujah, our visitors. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. There are visitors over there. Let's make them welcome. Isn't it? One, two, three. Amen. Jesus loves you and me and all of us. If you are next to a visitor, please stretch your hand and welcome them. Tell them, Karibu Sana, we are glad that they have come and they can make this their church. We gather here today to celebrate. Tell your neighbor, we gather here to celebrate. Please ask, ask them, where do you come from, from this country or from Africa? Because all of you, I can see at least you come from Africa. Which part do you come from? Please ask them, when you celebrate, do you look like the way you are looking before I asked you? How do you look like when you are celebrating? How do you celebrate? Do you celebrate seated? How do you celebrate? I think we need to celebrate that Jesus is alive today. We need to be serious about that fact. Because we are what we are. Because of what Christ did for us on Calvary 2,000 years ago. We have come to celebrate. To celebrate. Oh, I wish, I wish, I wish. Yes, thank you. Yeah. yeah. How do you celebrate where you come? Alice has said where she comes from. They say, Alice. 
Woo! I don't know where you come from. What? How do you celebrate? Okay, 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 okay. Just a minute. Just a minute. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Alice, you don't have to worry. I'm not bringing it to you. I'm not bringing it to you. But I have someone here. The way she does it, she does it so well. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Let's celebrate! Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Oh, we need to celebrate. Hallelujah. Me, I know the people here, how they celebrate. You know, 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 you celebration yako kwenu sio sawa but jesus is alive isn't he and therefore because he's alive we need to celebrate him and tell let people know that jesus is alive and he's no longer in the grave hallelujah let's celebrate jesus again wow thank you thank you man that is good we also gather here to give god praise Praise. I, I don't know where you come from. Again, you look Africans, you know, although some of you could be black American, but you look African to me. <laughs> when you give praise to someone, when you're praising someone, when you're praising someone, how do you praise someone? You see, you see, you see again, some, some, some of us, hey, ay, 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 ay. Huh? Ebu, 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 Simameni. Abu, Abu, Unajua tulienda kisumu lakini ya tukuenda kwa leki. Tulikuwa bali kidogo na leki. Wea huku tuingiza kwa leki. Si, wendi ulikuwa utuingiza kwa leki. Kujeni, ule alikuwa tuingiza kwa leki tuingie to celebrate. Hai? celebrate. Don't you worry, my sermon will be short. But we need to celebrate. Asaidia jirani yako, mwingine anajikokota, mwambie inuka. Let's celebrate the grandfathers and grandmothers in the house. Let's celebrate fathers and mothers in the house. Let's celebrate young people in the house. Let's celebrate our visitors in the house. Let's celebrate you and me in the house. Yeah. Mwambie jirani yako hii ni ibada ya kuvuvuka kwa Yesu. Praise the Lord. I had some people say, Newe, gana, newe, agere. And I say, I was telling doctors, to donge nyasai to be. Donge nyasai be. Whoa! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we are going to say Newe, Ralono, because it's a song we are most familiar with. And then we will add it a little with donge nyasai to be. Just tell your neighbor, to donge nyasai to be. To donge nyasai to be. Yeah. And the second word you say, Ibernda Loduto. Ibernda Loduto. Amen. Iyo arudia kidogo wa muku shika. Iyo ya muisho. Ya muisho ni Ibernda Loduto. Ibernda Loduto. Amen. Bas. Ero kaman. Dong. Amen. Niwara nono agwe njiboni lamo niwara. Oh, sandy, sandy. See you now, now. See you now, now. You're doing my job, Yako, eh? Sandy, sandy. What's up, Yahio? 
Kwa sababu ya hiyo B nyako B B B ka Josephine B ka B ka eh Wanjiro B ka B ka B ka Wanjiro B ka B ka mama mama what we call that sister come just come Kujeni hapa juu ili waone Kujeni hapa Kuna mwingine yako pale ana Jo 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 tunataka watu ambao wanaweza tuonesha demonstration kidogo. Hey jo je rukamara. Hey wow. Nani mwingine? Nani mwingine? Bonyas. Unataka kukamu? Utaki? Haya basi ni sawa tu. Ah asante. Ah pam. Nilikusahau namna gani? Sante. Si uanze kidogo tu jirani yako aone vile unakatika kidogo. Mumeambiwa haikuwa gina haraka hii.
Amen. Let's sit down if we can. And I want to start by declaring this to all of us. May that God who rolled the stone then, even in your life, roll a stone. May he roll a stone in your life. I'm asking myself, what does Easter stand for? And as I said, for a little while, I'll let you know what the letter Easter stands for. Uh, the acronym of Easter, and then I'll be done. Hallelujah. Easter, what does Easter stand for? If somebody was to ask you today, what is Easter? What would you tell him? What would you tell him what Easter is all about? Maybe you'd tell him is when the Philippines literally crucified a few people. Literally nailed a few people. Literally. Or you would say Easter um, is what started on Sunday, Palm Sunday, and everybody and every vehicle had the palms, palm leaves. So Easter, I don't know what Easter means to you. Easter, to the people that were in Palestine when Jesus was being crucified, was not very rosy as it is today. It was a dark weekend, very dark. The disciples themselves did not know what is going to happen. Although they were told that Jesus was going to resurrect after three days, they did not know what was going to happen, whether it is going to be true. It was a very dark moment. And that's why the story we read, we have picked the story. And here we are. The disciples have left one of them behind. Meaning, they have all gone there. And something is happening. And the rest go back. And one is left. This one who is left, is because if you look at the whole story, it is this. They came and it was empty, so they went back. But she is left there contemplating, where have they taken my Lord? She is wondering in her mind, they must have stolen him. That's what she is telling herself. And at that point, she peeps into the grave. And she finds there are two angels having a wonderful conversation inside there. Wonderful conversation inside there. They are talking to each other. And then they ask her, woman, what are you crying about? And she said, they have taken my Lord. For the angels, this woman knew, these are angels. They have taken my Lord. But as she backs up a little, Jesus is behind her. And Jesus is asking her, woman, why are you crying? And she thinks this is the gardener. She tells the gardener, please, if you have taken him. Please tell me where you have laid him. And then Jesus looked at her and realizes she is not noticing the Savior. So she, Jesus calls and said, Mary. And all of a sudden, Mary's attention comes to her and she knows, yes, this is Rabbi and she wants to touch him. You know, when I was a little boy, I used to dream a lot. And uh, my dreams were interesting. I remember... The last time I dreamt was because my father, Pastor Francis Mungai, the Lord bless him, will meet in heaven. One day I remember, this particular day, I woke up. Our house had two bedrooms. Bless God. One bedroom was for everybody. Amen. Me, my sisters, and everybody. The other one, nilikuwa mzee na mkawake. Sidiyo, ni sawa. Sidiyo, ni maendereo. Na kathali kawe gine, wanarara uko gine. Then I woke up from my bedroom, and I went out, touched the door. I think I had thought it, has, it is day. So I touched the door, then went back to bed. 
A few seconds later, he saw me again touch the door and then go back to bed. He looked at me. He observed. Because thank God, those days, mirango haikuwa ikifugwa sana. Vile tunafugaga na kufuri kwa sababu chapa tumebeba kwa mfuko. Mulango ilikuwa wazi. Tena sisi ni watoto. Akaniona ni meto. And at that time, I was in class seven. He observed there must be something bothering me. All of a sudden, he called, Kimani! And I said, eh? And I woke up. I went back to bed. I never woke up again. And this is what he told me when I was going back. Take the Bible. Make it your pillow. You'll never dream again. You know what? I did it. Never dreamt again. So there is a dawa there. There is a dawa there. The word of God. I put it. You know, I have, have heard of people who are told, stand on the word of God. They put the Bible down. Stand on it. That's not what it says literally, but you can do it also literally when you're full, forced, when you're pushed to a corner. Because it is the knowledge that you know. Mary is here and she's wondering where have they taken my Lord and her eyes are tearful. But when Jesus calls out, an awakening comes to her spirit. And you know what, my brother, my sister, the cry that I have for you today is that God will call you. So that you can have attention. So that you can know who is calling you. So that it can open you up. So that you know you have a savior who is risen today. Because we should not all be mourning. He is alive, Mary. And Mary says, Lord. And Jesus said, don't touch me. Don't touch me. I have not gone to my God who is your God. Hallelujah. So the word E simply means empty tomb that provides hope in a hopeless world. Hope in a hopeless world. A father and his teenager son had an argument. And the son shouted asses to his father. And then stormed out of the house and did not return. Days turned into weeks. Weeks turned into months. And man stand into years. The father searched the city. Every place. And finally in desperation he went to a newspaper place. And put an ad there. With a photo of his son. And he said, son, if you read this. I want you to know that all is forgiven. Bless the name of the Lord. And that's why I like Easter. Easter is a message that declares all has been forgiven. So, the father continues saying that news, news ad, I love you and I will be waiting for you uh, this Sunday at the entrance to the city park. I hope you show up. Love, dad. He said that Sunday morning, 2 p.m. in the afternoon, the son showed up at the park, all looking for forgiveness. All looking and searching for forgiveness. Why? Because the father had the promise that forgiveness is already given there. And I pray that if you came to church today and you're looking for forgiveness, may you know that yes, it is finished, he declared on the cross. It is finished and you are forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. There are so many people searching in this world Searching for forgiveness. Searching for hope. Searching for meaning. And the good news of Easter is that empty tomb provides that hope in a hopeless world. In the book of Matthew 12, 20 to 21. See the Bible says to us, a bruised reed he will not break and a smoldering weak he will not snuff out. In other words, in his name the nations will be put in their hope. A bruised reed, a smoldering week, that describes many people even in this sanctuary this morning. Perhaps you have been bruised by trials of life. Perhaps you have been bruised by those that you love so dear. Perhaps you have been bruised by your spouse or your spouse's betrayal or by your own failure. Or the failures of those around you. Perhaps you feel like a smoldering week. At one time your passion for God. 
and for ministry and for life was flaming very high. But the winds of life have blown and now you feel one step away from the flame going out altogether. There are many bruised reeds and smoldering wicks in the Bible. And the Bible tells me that he, our Savior, cannot break it, cannot mess it up, but he is willing to come and help. A reed, a woman comes and brought to Jesus on the very act so that Jesus can break her, but Jesus doesn't. A leper with leprosy is brought to Jesus and although he was supposed to be outside the camp, Jesus embraces him because he cannot break a reed. A blind man on the streets walking, crying out, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus embraces him and gives him hope. Bless the name of the Lord. A reed he will not break. Oh, he will not break any reed. I know some of us, we have people that look at us and when we fail, they laugh at us. But God will not laugh at us. He will lift us up. Bless the name of the Lord. Oh, some will say, oh, look at this proudful person. That's why he has fallen. But the Lord will say, look at my son that I, cry, I died for. He wants to lift you up. Bless the name of the Lord. A reed he will not break. A parallelic man on a, on, a, on a chair. The Lord wants to heal him. He doesn't want to break him. Empty tomb means hope. There is hope. There is hope. Bruce reeds and smoldering wicks. And the world is so good at breaking those reeds. They want to kill us. But we have hope. And the great message of Easter is that if Jesus was powerful enough to roll the stone that was put on his grave and become that grave, that same Jesus is powerful enough to move the stones. I say the stones that are blocking your life. He has the power to roll them out. Any stone that is blocking you, any stone that has put on you so that you cannot shake, the Lord wants to pull it out. In the name of Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter how long it has happened. Of course, I know there are some of us, when we prosper, we prosper, we prosper. We have a real problem. You know, we have a real challenge. You know, it is like the story of this man, uh, this man, and I have said it here, who were praying with the pastor. And the, this man was prospered. The Lord prospered him. The Lord prospered him. The Lord prospered him. And uh, he was not having any problem to give a tithe of a hundred, never a problem to give a tithe of a thousand, never a problem to give a tithe of ten thousand, never a problem to give a tithe of twenty thousand. Then the Lord prospered him, he got a million. Then he started having a problem of giving a hundred thousand to the Lord. And I tell you what, he forgot that it is God who kept on enlarging him because when he has enlarged you, you can't go back. Keep on moving. Amen. I've said that because I am moving. I don't know what I was telling Alice and I was saying, the higher the risk, the higher the return. It, it, I know if it pains me, then the return is going to be awesome because God will never, he's not a debtor to anybody. But I've also watched people go down again because this young man was told by the pastor, then we are going to pray to the Lord if you cannot tithe so that he takes you back to where you could tithe. Let me tell you, if there is a place I don't want to go back, is the place where I started to tithe one shilling. I don't want to get back there. I don't want to get back there because now where I live, I cannot afford if I go back there. I need to go up. Hallelujah. I go up. And I told you, I will go up myself. Yeah, I've decided to go up. I will never tell anybody that I don't have money. Never. If you look to me, I will tell you, it's only that my money, I'm spending it elsewhere. Hmm? We'll talk, but I will never tell you I don't have money because I have discovered now where God has placed me. I don't want to go back. Sitaki, sitaki hiyo story. Pesa hakuna. Yani mtu wakikuita pesa hakuna. Pana pesa hiko. Do you know when you want money from me, not necessarily how much, I will give you what I have. So, Maybe you are, in, you are thinking, you are saying, Bishop Adanipa 50. Bishop Adanipa 50. I love Nakupa 5 Bob. Because I had 5 Bob. And I will smile at you. I will not even feel bad. 
Oh no, I will not even ask you what it can do. Oh no, I will just give you with a smile. Man, I like, I'm liking the open heaven in this church. There are some of you that are going places. But let's allow the Lord to push us. Let's allow the Lord to push us. Kuna wengine tutawa pita. Speed mbaka wanze kusema tumeanza kuwa devil worshiper. Kwa sababu wanajuwaka shetani tu na nabariki. Na nakubariki na nini? Na hana kitu yake. Yan tuta ku overtake mbaka weo shangai. Yan because this one, overtaking is allowed. Amen? Overtaking is allowed. You don't know how I feel when I see Prados get in. I must see this come to worship here. You don't know how I feel. I feel great because you know what? Hallelujah. I say, if I, God can bless him, God can bless me. Hakuna ki, kwanza nataka kubebwa. See, I don't know whether I told you. South Africa ni dibebwa na kijana. Anaitua Holy Mike. Mana majina mazuri sana. Huko hakuna kamau na joroge. Holy Mike. Hey, Holy Mike. Hame nitua pale panaitua Polo Kwane. Polo kwane ndiyo ilikuwa ilikuwa pizza bag, pizza, pizza bag zamani. Hiyo gari yaka masides. <laughs> Nimekaa pale mbele. Nikamambia, kwanza nikamambia, your car is very nice. He said, you don't know. Akaguza mahali, ikaanza kuni massage. All the way. Inapanda mbaka huku, inateremuka, inateremuka. Inapanda, inapanda, inateremuka. Now, let me ask you. And let me ask you, let me ask you, let me ask you. Ni dhambi kuomba mungu wa nifatie gari kama hiyo? Ni dhambi? Ayy. Si hiyo ni jamana anayendesha na ni binanamu na ni mweusi kama mimi. Inapanda, in, kwanza inaanza hapa, hapa. Inapanda vizuri, inapanda vizuri, inapanda vizuri, alafi inamalizia hapa. Hai. <laughs> Tulibebo na JB JB ni kamambia sasa JB it's your turn Toka nyuma uje hapa bere usikio Hii kitu ni poa ina kushoshora ina kushoshora My goodness What I'm saying Kuna magari Samueli Kuna magari Dunia hii Kuna maga Na si dhambi kuende Na usi apologize Uye jamaa kuwepo, apologize, haka tuwedecha vizuri. Na nilimualika akuje hapa. Holy Mike, ni mbebe na hii yangu. Hata kama ishoshori mutu. Hallelujah. Empty tomb simply means God who rolled that stone can also roll the stone that blocks you from what God wants to do to you. Because some of us is our attitude. We don't want to be blessed. Be you, know, you know, oh my goodness. There was one man in Luo Nyanza. One man called Omamo. Do you remember a minister called Omamo? That man, I hear, I don't know. Unless you, you correct me. That man, when some Luo's had problems to develop Kisumu City, the guy builds. Kosa bunogopa tutarogwa. Atiwezi kwenda nyumbani uh, do, doka sinagali. Unaiwacha Kisum City, unaingia matatu. Ishindwe hiyo. Ni unaenda na unaipaki kwa baba yako hapo inje. Na unasema, there is no power which can bewitch me. Ten, I am ten times better than any witch in the village. Atindugu, uwezi jengea mama yako itagi. Mashako. Kwa nini? Ati atakuwa bewitched. Hapana, tujenge. Na tujenge kubwa. Tuizunguke na dami ya yesu. Waje waombe maji pale. Ai! During the civil war, a soldier was badly hurt. So he tells the captain, Captain, I've been hurt. So the captain says, Then if you're hurt, bring the rifle. Go back to the rear. When he went to the rear, he discovered there was war there also. He went to the east, there was war there also. He went to the west, there was war there. He came back to the captain and told the captain, Captain, give me back my rifle. Because there is battle 
everywhere. Forward ever, backward never. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness. Forward. When it comes to the troubles of the world and daily life, they aren't no rare to this battle. Nowhere. And that's why the Easter story is such good news. The resurrection which validates every promise Jesus ever made is the good news that gives hope and light and encouragement when everything else looks bleak. A. We looked at E. Let's look at A. Angel who invited them to look. The gospel writer records that when the women came to the tomb, the first thing the angel did was to invite them inside. He said, come and see the place where they lay. Take a look at the evidence. That's what they were being told. And God still invites us to look. He is telling us to look. See for yourself. See the evidence that I'm no longer on the grave. See what I have done for you and for others. Come and see. The Lord is calling us to come and see. Come and see. Come and see. An empty tomb. Undisturbed grave clothes. A stone that was so heavy has been rolled away. It is out there. Come and see. He is alive. That is what is calling us. Do you realize that is what God is calling us today? To come and see what God has done. Look what God has done. Come and see what God has done. Because God has done great things. Easter is a, is a showcase of who God is. That Jesus is alive today and well. Because Jesus has been set free from the stone that was rolled over him. If we were to start here to give testimony about the risen Savior, we are about 800 or 1,000. And if we gave each one of us 15 minutes, 1,000 of us, 15 minutes, how many hours do we need? 15 minutes, 1,000 of us. That is like 15,000 whatever minutes, divide by 60. How many hours? Why is the mathematician here? 200 hours. Huh? 250 hours. Oh, let's divide by the 24 then. How many days are those? It's over 10 days sitting here talking about the goodness of the Lord. Imagine what God means to me it's not what God means to you. And we can talk about his goodness for 10, 11 days in this church. Testimonies about him. And no wonder Paul writes in 2 Timothy 1 verse 12. I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him for that day. Now, note that Paul did not say, I know what I have believed. Paul is saying, I know whom I have believed. I am convinced and I'm convicted of whom I have believed. And I'm here this morning and I can tell you the same thing. I know whom I have believed. I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded that he is risen from the dead. I am persuaded that he is the life in the world and making all the difference in my life. Bless the name of the Lord. S. Surprise. Surprise at an empty grave. You know, like I started saying is that even the disciples were not so sure he will come back to life. Have you ever prayed for something and you're not so sure it's going to happen? But you have prayed anyway. And then God has done it and you are surprised. Amen? Yan, Yan, you believed God for a wedding like Ken. Right? You believed that, oh, oh, some God you're going to supply like Ken did. Right? And then it doesn't appear like it's going to happen. 
Imagine. It appears like everything is not right. And then it happens. Ken walks here and he gets married to Rose. The rest, Ken and Rose, is history. In actual fact, the wedding you did is like any other wedding. Whether you had the limo, you know the limo? The limo is the long one or the short one. At the end of the day, Ken was surprised by what God can do. You know, some of us, we, I don't know whether we believe God like we ought to. Because if we believe him, if we trust him, we will not only pray in faith, but we will have confidence that he's going to do it. And sometimes I say this, it doesn't take my faith, actually it takes his. If I put it, place it in his hand, no wonder Paul says, and I know, I am so convinced, what I have committed unto him, it doesn't matter how life is going to be, whether I'm going to be in prison, whatever I'm committed to him, will come to pass. There is a day that it will come to pass. So whatever we have committed to the Lord, let's have faith is going to come to pass. I don't know whether you have given money to your child to go to Sunday school and give an offering and they have come back with it. One parent did so. He gave some money to a three and a half year old boy to offer. Kobolembili. Which is ten bob. And when the boy came back, he was still holding the ten bob. So the father is asking, hey, Jiroge, why why are you still holding? He said, well, so you told me I give them to Jesus. He did not show up. <laughs> and the father was surprised. That was real surprise. But the boy was right. The boy was waiting for Jesus. So we need to teach people more how we can get surprised about Jesus. Because angels are at work. Angels are at work. Surprise. 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 Oh. Like Ken, me, I was also surprised that I got married. Because it finally happened. Hey, man, it finally happened. Oh, my goodness, it finally happened. Because today I'm married. It finally happened. Let me say again, because you are not understanding, it finally happened. Maybe you, you don't know what I mean. My wedding happened. But there was no rice. But my wedding happened. All the rice got burnt, but my wedding happened. I bought a few loaves because of a few shillings I had left, but my wedding happened. Like anybody else, I got married. And I got surprised. You know the surprise you get? Ah, kumbe hata watu kama wakuli raisi wana enjoy to Sour. That's how I discovered. Surprise! And these guys were surprised. They walked in the morning and the tomb was empty. May the Lord surprise you. Maybe you are still walking towards what you left yesterday. May the Lord surprise you to find it solved. May the Lord solve it in the middle of the night. May the Lord come and rescue you when you have no idea he is doing it. May the Lord do it. Surprise. May the Lord surprise you. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, I'm waiting for God to surprise me. Oh, God of surprise. Surprise me. Hallelujah. Everyone involved was surprised. The soldiers did not have, did not have an answer. The Pharisees were caught trying to come up with a, a backup plan. The religious leader who though they buried the one who challenged their way of life were shocked when Sunday morning rolled around and the stone was rolled away. And Jesus Christ rose victoriously over sin and death. And that is the greatest surprise this world has ever known. Hallelujah. May the Lord surprise me. May the Lord surprise us. T. I told you we are just looking at the acronym of Easter. Tell, this is the command that Mary is given. The angel invited the surprised woman into the tomb and then sent out. The best messenger 
is a messenger who have seen it and known it. No wonder I normally say this. When you give a testimony of what God has done to you, don't allow anybody to intimidate you to tell you it is not a big miracle. It is a miracle. And I pray that God can take us to those days that when we meet in our cell meeting, we give testimonies. Oh, man. Testimonies. And they differ from one place to another. One would be a miracle of transport. Atiniliomba, nikatoka, nikaingia matatu, nikapata kiti. Miracle. And some others say, ayi? Hata hiyo zaza ni miracle. <laughs> At we are driving, and then you, you, you reach. You know, yesterday, nilitoka saambiri. Hata siku, I did not believe it. 20 minutes I was in town. Sasa hiyo nayo ni miracle. My goodness. Yako ni nini? Kama hiyo siyo miracle. Yako ni nini? You know, kuna wengine, niringia kwa matatu. Na jameni, nilikuwa tuna 50 bob. Kwenda na kurudi. Na nilikuwa ni meambiwa kutoka hapa ni 50. Na nilikuwa na 52. Kuingia ndani, nikasikia jamaa kwa nyuma na sama usiripe. Arafu na angadu na sama, na yu saa ni mujiza. Let me tell you, I had 50, na nimeripiwa 50, na nitarudi na 50. Kama hiyo siyo mujiza kwa kwa sijui mujiza kwa kwa ni nini. Oh, I was feeling very hungry and I was walking in the streets and I was wondering, sasa, aka kamia, nikikunywa soda. Nitarudi zima na mnagani. Nita walk, mpaka mudhaiga. Alafu jamana kuja kwa, ah, Ken, sija kuona kwa muda, John kunuria soda. Then you say, hey, mungu wangu we. So when he gives a testimony of a soda, some of you are saying, na soda sasa, 20 bob. In actual fact, that's why we miss God. God is in the business of doing great things. And I pray for you that God has done great things. Be watchful of the little things that he does. Oh my goodness. Hati, I went to a queue. Nikuwa nimepanga queue hapo. Jama mungine haka pita pari, haka niuliza, eh, bishop. Nika msalimia, haka nambia, nifuate. Nika ingiwa kwa manager. Kabi ulitaka pesa, eh. Kani chukua cheki yangu, haka enda, haka ni muujiza. Rafa mungine sama, ayi. Sasa hiyo nao ni muujiza. Kwa ni nani, si hata si tunajua manager. Eh, eh, si kusema hamujui manager. Nimesema nilikuwa kwa laini, na nilikuwa nimechelewa. I don't know whether you are understanding what I'm talking about. I don't know whether you get it. Testimony is what God has done for me. Unaona mama anasema, I waited for a child for two years, three years. And then you say, miaka miwiri. Si hata labda ni kwa sababu amuku time vizuri. Amuku pema masaa vizuri. Let me tell you, please, please, don't become so scientific. It is a miracle to this person. If it is not a miracle to you, forget it. Let's learn to give what testimonies of what God has done. Ah, yeah. Najua wengine hapa, tunanunuwaga ama tuseme hivi. Mimi niko na rafiki, na niriwambia rafiki yangu, haendagi na business, haendagi na economy, haendagi na business. Amen. Ye, yeah, haendagi na economy. Mimi naendagi na economy. Na economy, mtu anauliza kwa maswali katha. Beef or chicken. <laughs> business, unaletewa menu. Amunyiti. Economy, unaletua tuvisu tuwa plastic. Business, unaletua cutlery ya silver. Blended, Kenya Airways, whatever. Unanielewa? Tukitua ushuhuda, yake atasema alienda na business class. Na mimi nitasema alienda na nilipata muujiza wakuenda America. Na yalipata muujiza wakuenda wapi? Sio kwamba, and you know what? I actually tell him, me I tell him, I'm believing God that one of these days I'll go first class. Ile inakuwa kakitanda, unafinya hivi masama nane mpaka London umelala. He? Na unafuni kwa blanketi. Wacha hile ngini mtunapewa wakashuka kidogo. Unafuni kwa blanketi, kwa blanketi. Ukiingia, unatolewa koti, inawekwa kwa hanga, inawekwa kwa adrob, na inawekwa namba. Ukija kutoka inangolewa, unambio, sir, alafu koti na ilulua, unaingiza mkono. <laughs> <laughs> Aha, we uwelewi, buwana. 
Tukua kule nyuma vile tunasikiaga hapa bwana. Jamen jamen nini? Oh, you are not understanding. Ukiingia first class, kuingia tu hivi unapewa juice. Kule nyuma bado tunagoja iende uko juu. <laughs> Is stabilized. <laughs> kukua na <laughs> kukua na shida huko na mashake shake nyi mtakaa kidogo. Jamaa sha piga zake mbili na njugu karanga. Mkuwa tu kwa runway. Oh my goodness. So I would love it. But I have a testimony that even, even when I go with the economy, the Lord was provided. But I pray that one of these days I will get there. So when somebody gives a testimony about what God is doing to them, don't envy them, but pray that God can take you there, but appreciate where you are. Bless the name of the Lord. Go tell is a command. A testimony of what God has done to you. Go tell it out. Woman, go tell them what you have seen. He is no longer here. He is alive. Go tell. Go tell. Go tell. And then E, excited that the woman felt that morning. When she was told that, she got so excited. In an old Good Friday, a family circus cartoon, little Billy and his brother uh, were walking along through a store like Nakumat here. And you know, if you went to Nakuma, there were a lot of Easter eggs. At one point, I wondered, I my eye. Ata South Africa ni liyo na I my eye. Kwa ni wanauza my eye kila mahali. Ni kambiwa na mtu isi my eye. You know, I'm an analog myself. Kwa hivyo ni rifikiria ni my eye, ni harvest. Kuku zimejaa kila mahali. Lakini na uliza, utu tugine ni tudogo. Kwa ni ata quills wanauzaka South Africa. Then I was told, apana my eye, ni ice cream. Sasa huyu kijana wakienda hivi mmoja wao akasema unaona utu tumayai ni kwa sababu hii ni good friday kale kengine akakamwambia wewe waacha basi kama hii ni good friday na tuko hivi goja easter they will be gooder than they are today because easter sunday is the time that the lord our god rose from the dead hallelujah bless the name of the lord so the english grammar could be not right there gooder but this boy was so impressed Looking forward to Easter Sunday. Excitement. And that's why I said we should all get excited in the name of the Lord. We should all get excited about the Lord. What a difference a day makes. What a difference a day makes. What a difference. Excitement. We need excitement. And all of us here needs to know what a day three means. It's a day of victory. It's a day of good news. A day of renewed hope. And if you aren't there now, be assured that it is coming. Because Jesus Christ has won the victory for us. And day three means hope also. A day three means a change of fortune. A day three means victory. The Lord is going to give us victory. There is a song, you know, I like hymns a lot. There is a song, a hymn. I cannot sing it because the only songs that I know how to sing are the ones that we were singing and they were translated in Kikuyu. So when I went to high school, I started singing them in English. But there is one song, a spiritual song, the spiritual song that is sung by the black Americans. And as I dance around, the, 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 the person leading says, Brother, sit, brother, sit down. And I was like, Brother, cannot sit down. Brother, sit down. I cannot sit down. I, we are going to invite one of them here. I know, I know Brandon was here and you know those guys are allowed. Even when devils were here, their worship is great, eh? isn't it? So, brother, sit down. And the other one said, no, 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 I cannot sit down. Brother, sit No, 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 I cannot sit down. Why? Because I cannot sit down, I want to go to heaven. And I cannot sit down when I'm going to heaven. The excitement of Easter, I cannot sit down. I have to be excited about what the Lord has done. Lastly, the resurrected Lord. The resurrected Lord who is living today. Mohammed is still in the grave and you have to fight for him. You have to fight for him. 
but he is in grave. Buddha, you have to fight for him. You have to force people. But Jesus doesn't. He is in the grave. Smith, Joseph Smith, he's in the grave and many others. But Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. A Sunday school teacher had just finished telling her third graders about how Jesus was crucified and placed in a tomb with a great stone sealing the opening. Then wanting to share the excitement of the resurrection, she asked, and what do you think were Jesus' first words when he came bursting out of that tomb alive? He's asking the children. A hand shot up into the air from the rear of a classroom. Attached to it was the arm of a little girl. Leaping out of her chair, she shouted out exceedingly, I know, I know. Good, said the teacher. Tell us what were Jesus' first words. And extending her arms high into the air, she said, Tada. Tada. The resurrected Lord is the central event of our faith. It is Tada of Christianity. And because of Easter, we know that God is Christ. Jesus is more powerful than anything in life, even death. You know, the, this, this, this child said those words because when a child starts speaking, So, the girl says, no, I know. If he came, meaning he was born, he was small, the first word was, da, da. What an excitement. Yes, the first word of Jesus when he comes back, he says, I am the Lord. I change not. The first word of the Lord is that I have all the power. The power in heaven and earth has been given to me. Go ye there for make disciples. The first words. The resurrection is not just another thing we believe as Christians. It is the center of our faith. Everything hinges on the resurrection. And you realize that when life smacks you in the face, you call on Christ uh, the Savior. Bless the name of King Jesus. I want to finish at that point. And I want to finish by something that I picked just before I left the office. I googled. You know, Google. Thank you. Thank you, son, for helping me to use Google. But, you know, you, do, you don't know you can Google anything. You know, some of us are analog. We don't. But you can Google anything. Shirt, trouser, shoes. And they will tell you where you can buy them. So today I did some Googling. And I met a commentator who puts the story of Easter this way. He says, today we remember a certain burst of light that tore the veil of bleak and fell on darkness of that Sunday morning. That's what Easter is all about. Light! The gloomy of Friday and Saturday Sunday morning, light. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Light. Revealing a risen Lord and conquering Messiah who defeated sin and death by crushing the head of the serpent. Light. Shall we stand? I want to do one declaration to you. One declaration to you. And then we'll be done. My prayer for you, the prayer point after sharing all that is this. Let evil stones be rolled away from your life and family in Jesus' name. I want to say again, let evil stones be rolled away from your life and family in Jesus' name. Father, we want to thank you this morning. And I want to declare to your people in the name of Jesus that stones that blacken their lives, stones that are rolled in their lives, will be rolled away. Stones of evil, stones that have blocked their progress. I want to speak in the name of Jesus Christ 
that they shall be rolled away. Stones of sickness, they shall be rolled away. Financial challenges will be rolled away. In Jesus' name, they'll be rolled away and freedom and victory will come upon us. May you become a conqueror in Jesus' name. May you become an overcomer in Jesus' name. May all evil stones be rolled away in your life and so shall it be and so shall it be in Jesus' name. Let's give praise in the house, shall we?